Hello guys, welcome back to the fifth episode of the Grow Garden series. I first wanted to say thank you all for your support on this series. And also, you can now buy this series, so you don't have to code anything. And yeah, the current parts, um, the newest parts will automatically be updated. So when I upload a new part, you will automatically be able to download it. If you're interested, my Discord server is linked down below. Just DM me on Discord. Um, my uh, tag is just zvol d and e just zvol d e um so z e v a uh no i'm wrong z e e v a l and then d e uh, yeah, that's just my uh name you can just get me there send me uh and yeah you can just enjoy why um but yeah, let's continue on with the series. So today we will be first of all adding the proximity prompts. So on the client, uh, let's go ahead and let's make a local function. Add proximity. And that will get the model. And then if model, then local prox is equal to instance of new proximity prompts. Uh, prox uh, dot and then into what's the action text? Uh, it's going to be called harvest. Then the prox dot hold duration will be equal to like one or something. Uh, the prox dot requires line of sight is going to be false, and the prox dot this max activation distance. It's gonna be like 100. And yeah, if model, I call find first child one, then prox.parent is gonna be equal to, uh, yeah, model, then one. And yeah, now we actually want to go to our uh, uh, also uh, let's rename this one just to uh, to so we want to copy trees and just hit control shift F and just replace this with um, models. Because I want to generalize this, not always only trees, so this makes it a lot better. Uh, so yeah. Or you can like rename it to plants. I would just rename it to plants, and also on the server then um, rename this to plants. And yeah. So then uh, we want to go to our plants. Um, and you want to make sure it has one part, and you want to add like add a new part. It uh, can also be just the one. You want to rename this to Prox. Make it invisible. Uh, remove all the textures, and make it not collidable, not touchable, not queryable. And yeah, just like this. And then you want to just move it back. And you want to do this for every single for every single model. Then you want to go back on your clients, and you first of all want to find prox. And then else if. Uh, and then yeah, you want to return. And then if model, you can just copy the same thing and put a one here, put a one. Uh, and then a third one, find first child of class. Um, uh, which is A would be better, and then we search for a base part, and then we just put it in there, like this, and yeah, so. We want to make sure this is pretty much at the top, so let's cut this 
function out and put it close to the top like this and then when we animated the tree grow what we want to do is here we want to just uh, add proximity for the model now copy this and everywhere will be added the to do we can just paste this let's search for um, to do and we don't have anything left so let's play the game and see if our proximity prompts get created so when we play something you can see that when it's done creating you can see that a proximity prompt now appears and i can harvest them now and yeah you can see this uh majesty setting so it has a 100 slots range so when i walk away and reach 100 slots it goes away this is of course a bit too wide you can of course reduce that and yeah so let me change my modifier functions back to normal so this would be like 1 in 20 this would be like 1 in 500 and yeah then we also get some normal trees this is kind of big one I can see I can also harvest this now and yeah what we want to do is you want to add a listener for this prompt so what we want to do is I want to just add a local Parented is going to be equal to false. And we want to remove the returns. And just put uh, and not parented. And then add parented is equal to true under each of those. And then we want to do uh, procs.triggered connect function or connect the player if uh, yeah, we don't even need to connect the player so we just do um, print player.name and then comma uh, model.name and that should be should be good so now when you plant a tree and it finished growing, we see the proximity prompts. See that it prints our name and the seed which it was grown from. Uh, so yeah, then we could harvest it. So yeah, this is just for the harvesting now. And now what we want to do is we want to make a new remote event called harvest request. And then we want to do uh, the remote events or just replicate storage. Dot remote events dot harvest request fire server with the model dot name. Or we can just pass the model and yeah now we go on the server and we scroll up and we get the plant event and we then uh, get the harvest request and we this harvest event and then what we want to do is we just want to do harvest event dot on server event connect function and we get the player and the model and what we want to check is in our plant manager, we have this nice uh, table here um, and we keep track of all the uh, all the things which are placed. Not yet, but we will. And first of all, what we want to do is we want to destroy the model. So if layer 
and model then also specify that this is a player uh, model call destroy and this is going to be a model um so yeah, now this should be destroyed so we plant something You see when we get it, it's getting deleted. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um now would come the data parts, but for now we can harvest. Uh yeah. Did we get the base weight yet? Yeah, we did. Okay, so what we can do is we can get the plant definitions. So we can see if plant definitions. We don't have it, so let's get it. Scroll up and do. Um, we want to do replica storage dot plant definitions. And then if plant definitions, and we want to index this with the model dot name, then and only then we want to destroy. And we want to print this and yeah. Uh, yeah, then we can create a tool so we can make a new folder in the replicate storage and name this lock tools. And we can add a tool in there. And we can rename this tool to maybe dead wood or anything that you want the harvested one to be called. We can remove these things here and we instantly have this set up. Then we can go ahead and also make sure you you um, disable the requires handle in the tool, otherwise it won't work. Uh, then you can go back in the server and do if if uh, then we can get the let's do local dev can be equal to this. We want to print dev and then if dev dot lock tool then uh and dev dot lock tool call is a tool then we want to do local clone is gonna be equal to dev dot lock tool <clears throat> clone clone and then clone the parent it's going to be equal in the player backpack. And then this is going to come later on. But we can add a to do. And then it's going to be harvest tree with plans manager. And then we want to destroy the model. So let's see if this works. So let's plant a tree. We got lucky, 1 in 20. Plant another one. Yeah, nice. Let's wait for it to finish. And when we get it, you can see it printed our name and the seat. It printed the table, which we got with the growth time. This is pretty much just this table here. So everything in here. The growth time, the log tool, and the name. And then it gave us a log tool. Like this. So that what the tree specified. When we get this again, you can see it gives us one more. Yeah, of course we will be adding stacking later on. But this is uh, going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you find any bugs, please let me know in the comments. 
if you want to um, give me an idea on what to add in the next episode, please also do so in the comments. And yeah, if you like what I do, please like, comment and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Peace.